morning YouTube. Um, I'm going to be recording this morning um, my church um, makeup routine. Um, I was supposed to do it yesterday, but my husband walked in and ruined the, the video. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this morning and that'll be the look I'll be using um, for work today. Um, it's a very neutral look. Um, I do wear some color sometimes, but yesterday I did not. Um, I kept it a little neutral yesterday. Um, I already moisturized my skin. Now I'm going to moisturize my, moisturize my lips using Baby Lips um, Dr. Rescue Medicated Lip Balm. I like to moisturize my lips first and, because I'm going to apply my lipstick last. Um, then using my two favorite um, foundations, um, both by CoverGirl, Outlast, and True Blend. I mix them together. <laughs> Only because one of them, uh, when I purchased it, was extremely light for my complexion. Um, so, yeah. And I am applying it straight out the bottle because it's almost finished. So I need to um, take another new one out of my um, storage container. like this one's almost empty as well and then I just take it with a stippling brush and I just stipple it on all over my face the stippling motion helps to um, cover any acne scores that I have uh, so I like to pat it in first with the brush and then after I'm done patting the foundation in, I do like to go back and um, blend it in I usually do do my eyebrows first, and today I just skipped that whole step. So. Go in with my um, Maybelline Insta Age Rewind um, powder, and this is in the color light pale. And with my Elf um, complexion brush, this big fluffy brush, I just pat it in and pat it all over my face. that now we will move on to um, my eyebrows using a just no name brand um, angled brush and my almost gone Anastasia dip brow pomade in the color ebony 
almost gone. And starting at the bottom, I um, outline the bottom of my eyebrow and then I outline the top and then I will um, fill them in with whatever product is left on a brush. I try not to apply too much product. I don't like them too dark. Well, it depends on the look, actually. There is the bottom. notice I did not fill in this part um, I don't like to draw it in completely I just use towards the end whatever is left on the brush and I just fill it in a little bit my complete brow and let's move on to the next one as you can see I don't use um, powder pencil since I purchased the Anastasia um, dip brow pomade has been the only thing I've been using Those are my finished brows. I do not, I do not clean them up with concealer. I'm really not um, a fan of the concealer look. Um, not at the top, at least. I do clean them up a little bit as I apply my primer to my um, eyelid. I use um, my NYX Jumbo um, pencil in the color Milk. Um, I did depot this because I don't like to use it as. Um, it comes in the pencil. I don't know how to sharpen it. I've tried. They said put it in a freezer. I've tried. It doesn't work for me. So I just deposited it into one of these little um, plastic um, containers. Come with, with a little white lid. I actually purchased this at Walmart. And then I just use um, just a regular brush. In this case, this one is by e.l.f. And it's supposed to be a lip um, defining brush. Which I obviously don't use it for my lips. So I just um, take some onto the brush. And I do start underneath my brows and just um, use this as a base for my whole eyelid. covered up with the white base and then I just take a finger and I just dab it in place making sure I didn't put too much you don't want it to be um, for there to be too much product on there and then I just 
blend it in a little bit and then we move on to the next eye Look how much product I put on the brush and then starting directly under my brows Okay, for today's look, I'm going to be using um, my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. I did use a couple colors from here. These are the colors. Okay, and I'm going to start um, by using my e.l.f. Um, angled brush and the color Coconut Cream, which is this light color at the top. And I'll be applying this underneath my um, brows. And like I said, I like to pat my shadows in. You pat them in, you get higher um, color payoff. Then eventually I have to blend them in. So you get no harsh lines. But yes, I like to pat the color in place and then blend afterwards. Using this angled fluffy brush, um, no name, I just got it off of eBay. Um, using the color peanut butter from the same palette, which is this color right here. I'm going to use that as my transition color. So I will pat that in place as well. to make it a little darker on the outer part of my eye and then bring in whatever is left on the brush to the inner part of my um, eye. Now moving on, um, I will be going back to that palette, uh, but now moving on, I will be using this 18 color baked eyeshadow Galaxy Chick palette by BH Cosmetics. These are the beautiful colors. And for this look, I'm going to be using Saturn, which is this uh, gold tone color. And I will be applying this wet. As I said in my previous video, I like to apply big shadows wet. Um, because after they're wet and they're placed, 
they really don't move. They stay in place. You don't get a lot, no creasing. Um, so yeah. And then using my e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush. It's just a flat brush. I'm going to go ahead and wet it. Um, using my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. I just apply some spray to the back of my hand. I wet the brush. And then I pick up some product. And then this color is going to go directly on my eyelid. Just going to pat it in place. Covering the whole lid. Um, placing it above my crease as well. to the next eye Now that is done and we're gonna go back to the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and we're gonna go with let's go with my um, blending brush this one is a BR 250 and this one is by Coastal Scents I'm going to go in with the color pudding, which is this darker brown right here. And I'm just going to pick up the product and we're going to be adding it um, in, into my crease um, the, and the outer V of my eye. And we're just going to place it in place and blend as we go. to the next eye. is the look. I'm going to go back in with my fluffy angled brush and just blend a little bit um, my colors. Just my transition color and my brow color. It's going to blend it so there's no um, harsh line between the two.
excuse me. Make my cup. Relax, dream, and believe. Okay, now I'm gonna be moving on with my um with my eyeliner. And I'm not gonna wing it out, just gonna be a very thin line. Like I said, my goal usually um, is to keep it simple, especially when I'm going to church. I like to keep it simple, not dramatic, um, although I can and I have, but I like to keep it more simple. Eyeliner's done. I'm gonna line my lower lash line, well, my lower water line, using this um, Kat Von D um, eyeliner, and I'm gonna place that directly onto my water line. And of course, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Okay, that is done. Now I'm going to go in with my mascara, and today I'm just going to use this uh, Clinique mascara. That is complete. Um, now going on to my cheeks. I'm going to pick um, a blush. Um, today I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush. This is in the color Pink Passion. With a Eco Tools blush brush, I'm just gonna pat in there, and we're gonna give it a big smile, and we're going to um, apply to um, your cheeks. Blush is on. Now, last part is going to be my lips. I already moisturized them in the beginning of the video. Now I'm going to apply this um, lip liner. This one is by I think Nico K or and I don't know NK. Um, I bought it at the local um, hair supply store. Yeah, this Nika K Cosmetics, um, and this is in the color A16 in the color orange. 
and I'm just gonna line my lips I already have um, full lips so I don't have to um, draw them or outline them on the outer part to make them seem bigger I don't want them any bigger than what they are Okay, and that's that, and I'm going to be using um, a MAC lipstick, and then this is in the color um, Sushi Kiss. It's just pretty, like, corally, um, like a peach orange color, very pretty color, and I'm just going to apply that. And then on top of that, I'm going to be adding a little bit of my NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in the color Maple Blondie. Just going to apply a little bit of that in the middle of my lips. Okay. And then we will be setting setting our face with um, the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And we let it dry. And that is my look for today. Um, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video. If you have any comments or any suggestions, you can drop them down below. I do want to do for my next video, um, depending on how many um, questions I get, um, a video about me. So if you have any questions or you're interested to know something about me, just drop it down below as well. I'll be checking it within the next couple days um, to hopefully do the next video. I thank you so much for watching my videos. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.